So, I'm Kengo Kurimoto, I'm the level design lead at Media Molecule, and we're here at Gamescom, and I'm here to show you the Little Big Planet 2 Move Pack. This is the biggest pack that Media Molecule has ever done, it's certainly the most ambitious as well, and essentially we give you all the tools and content in order for you to make your own move games. Of course, in the Media Molecule way, we always develop with the tools a story mode as well, so this in itself is a standalone uh, story which you can play, and uh, we think it's definitely one of the best move titles there is on the market so far. You may as well just dive in and, uh, and give you a look at it, a sneak peek. So this level is the, the Valley of the Sackbots, and uh, this level uh, shows off the, uh, the new power-up which you're giving away, so much in the same way of the Grabinators or the Grapple Hook. This new uh, uh, power-up called the uh, Brain Crane allows you to pick up objects to the power of your mind, and we'll see it right now. So it has a full story to it. A place of culture, prosperity, mixed media art. Those small wooden guys are called sackbots, I'm told. Outside, carved from maple. Inside, hearts of gold. So the setup here, you can play either with, uh, with the six axis in combination with the, the motion controller. Alternatively, you can use a nav controller too. The buttons just match, map, uh, jump on the, uh, the move button there, and then the uh, grab is on the, on the trigger button there. So with this setup, we can play any of the, uh, the levels from, uh, from LBP. So any of the community levels, any of them, we can play them as well. So it's backward compatible completely. Uh, you can also, uh, levels for instance which use uh, the Creatinator or the, the paint gun in the Metal Gear Solid pack, you can actually use the move to target it like that, the motion controller to target it and you can shoot like that, which I personally enjoy much better than using the two sticks. Here's Garibald Moss Rock, he's one of the characters in the game. He's explaining how to use the, uh, the, the brain crane, so he's wearing it right now and there he is. Here we go, we're going to get to have a go of it now. He's going to show it to us. Okay, so this is where the motion controller really comes in handy. So you can see the reticule there, and I can just grab things at a distance like that. And I can move them around. Just like that. So it, it maps it maps one-to-one -one with, uh, the, with the motion controller. It's got really nice, delicate controls to it like that, and I can literally throw things as well. See that? Let's just hit him over there with it. Let's <laughs> just throw all of these at, at apples. This is just the training just to get you used to the controls. The nice thing about it is, is it really does make most of the, 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 the tilt controls of the motion controller. Okay. So it's the same again. This, uh, this tutorial here, it's just to get used to the, it's very, it's much more sensitive than say, for instance, the, the, the Wii controller. So you want people to get used to the difference of, uh, of how it feels. Okay, so all I've got to do is place these in here. And there you go, place all those in there. Oh, yeah, if you do it too hard, then, uh, then it, makes them, it makes them splat. So it's just to get used to the idea that you can do things very gently if you want to. The nice thing about it as well is that you can also grab your friends. So I'm in the one player mode right now, so I can't demonstrate that. But one of the things which is nice about Little Big Planet in general is the, the cooperative side of the game. And uh, with, this, uh, with this particular uh, power up, it means that you can grab your friends, throw them around. You've got special cooperative sections where you can then uh, you know, you help each other, grab each other, help each other on the high ledges, for instance. I mean, you know, I've seen all sorts of really nice uh, emergent gameplay as well, where somebody would fall down a gap and then they would, uh, their friend would catch them just before they fall down. So it's just really nice uh, cooperative uh, gameplay there. So the, uh, this is the main story. So once, once you've got used to the grips, got to grips with the, uh, with the, uh, the power up, then the story escalates. So the actual story mode is called the rise of the cakeling and, uh, and it's about uh, an experiment which goes wrong and uh, one of Victoria's experiments and, uh, and the cakeling goes on, on a rage and uh, yes, and then you have to go and defeat it. So I won't spoil that for you right now. I'll just... Um, show you some of the other features of the pack. So along, this is, the, uh, this is the story mode here, which is mainly focused on the brain crane. And then you also have seven mini levels as well going around there. And they, they're levels which show you uh, uh, some of the additional features of the game. I'll show you here, for instance, Jam Kablam. So with these, we wanted to make them, again, standalone little games here, so that we can show you the variety that you can make. So there you go. So you can see now, now the motion controller has turned into uh, a, a little cursor, a little cursor here. And then the idea is you just pop 
groups of colours like this and you want to try and group them together so that when you get a really big group then uh, you get a bigger multiplier from it like that. I've played this for many hours in the office. I'll, I'll show you some of the other stuff we have. Okay. So another level we have here is the, uh, the move tilt level. I'll show you that one too. And this one is uh, a level which demonstrates the, uh, how you can hook up the, the tilting controls within, within the, con the motion controller. So uh, well, the way that we do that is that in the very similar to the controlinator, so fans of the game will know the, the, the gadget, the controlinator, where you get the six axes, you can open it up and then hook up all of the, the controls. We've got exactly the same thing here with the, uh, with the motion controller here. So all the tilt controls are exposed to you, so then you can then hook them up. And this level shows that off. There you go. Yep, I still so what you do is you can just tilt, tilt the control. So it's almost like the... Uh, the whole, the whole level's tilting there. That effect there is actually faked using the, the, the game cameras. So you like, tilt it and then tilt the fork forward like that. And to the side. Oh, oh, and then back. It's very, um, uh, it's a very sophisticated bit of kit, the motion controller. So it's really, it's really nice to be able to give that, that power to the community. And there we go. And there we go. I'll show you one more level and uh, just get, give you a good idea about the kind of variety that is in this pack. And also the variety of uh, levels that you can make with the, uh, the tools that, uh, that we provide. Okay, claw the field mouse. So this here is a, a nice little, uh, again, self-contained little puzzle game. Here we go. And essentially, the idea is to solve all these puzzles here. Okay, guide wooden ball into the pipe. It's a simple, simple case of get this ball here into this pipe here. So it makes use of the twist controls of the motion controller here. You see, you grab it with the trigger button and then you twist it like that and then press that and then you can get it into it. Obviously, this is just a tutorial, it's very simple simple level and it just gets fiendishly difficult actually. There's actually a, a little secret in here as well where you can grab objects as well you see there. There's actually a secret here where you'd actually have uh, two, two balls at the same time which, uh, which gets mind-bogglingly difficult but you know. There you go. There you go. So it gets, you know, it gets much more, much more uh, fiendish after that. Okay, so another feature which, we're, uh, which, which I'm particularly excited by is the, uh, is the paint tool as well. So this is one of the, another one of the create uh, tools. I can show it to you from the pod. You can just access it from your, uh, from your uh, stickers uh, area here. So essentially you just pull it up and then now you've got a paint tool. So you can just pull the thing like this. Paint, you can choose your colour. Choose your colours like that. You can also choose the different type of brushes that you have. Say, for instance, if you want little speckles, you can do speckly brushes. So it's a really, it's a really good solid paint tool. At the same time, we've also got um, the ability to place down stickers. So if you're not, if you're not um, amazingly uh, artistic, but you'd like to have a go, you can then just place these, uh, you can place these stickers down like that, and sort of do a good, a good collage effect like that. <laughs> this is a, this is one of our, uh, our developers' cats. <laughs> So another thing that you can do is um, uh, combine the tools together. You can get some really quite uh, mad effects. So this is the spray spray tool like that. So you can see, you can, let's just change the colour actually, so you can get it with it. Let me, just choose a, let me just choose a sticker which is less dark than that. So use this horse for instance. You can get some really, really quite beautiful effects just very simply using, using the paint tool. So again, so the, uh, the, 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 the movinator is so that you can make your own move game. So obviously that's, that's going to take a bit of work to do it. But then you've got the paint tool as well. So you wanted to just, uh, just have lots of entry levels for, the, uh, for all, the all the different creators out there. So once you can create your own stickers, you can then just exit like that, save it. And it's a simple case of then moving that up there. And then you can just place the sticker where you want. There you go. 
<laughs> not my best artwork, but you get the message. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs>